unfortunately, like six weeks after her re uh, surgery developed a rich roaring infection in her right breast that required me to go back to the operating room, take out, you know, some of the, the, um, the alloderm or the excess, to, you know, tissue that was there. So she's thinner on this right side and um, I fat grafted. and she's not, she doesn't have a whole lot of extra fat. Um, and I fat grafted her, I think twice now and she still has a little rippling um, right on the right breast medially. So that's what we're gonna um, fix today. And I think it just is a great option for those, those patients. And especially it's interesting with Renewable, we'll see how, you know, over the years this pans out. But if you remember from last night, the sort of bolus study where, you know, they're injecting these 20 cc boluses in, in you know, the panaces of these large patients and seeing what happens over time with with fat, you can't do that, you know? So when I'm injecting fat, you have to inject it, you know, similar, in a similar fashion to Renewable, but these patients have such thin tissue. I mean, mastectomy tissue is this thin. So fat grafting and breast reconstruction, I mean, patients sometimes can require several sessions of it because there's only so much you can do at one time and only so much that's gonna survive. And so I'll be interest, interested to see over the years if, if adding, you know, Renewba and being able to populate a larger area with fat in one go will be, you know, something that we can do so that these patients don't need three, four sessions of fat grafting. You can kind of lay the framework with a bigger bolus of fat or something and then, you know, touch it up if needed, so.